here is an example. So basically, here is an example. It is slot time is 1, CW min is 5, diff is 3, pif is 2, and sif is 1. This is just an example, right? And of course, in the exam, I will change the numbers and you have to work it out. So at t equal to 1, here is the time. At t equal to 1, station 2 wants to transmit, but the media is busy because the access point is sending out something. Right? So, the station at time 2, station 3 wants to transmit and 4 wants to transmit. Alright? None of them can do anything because the media is busy. And after the media is done, at t equal to 3, station 1 finishes transmission. So, actually, um, if AP is the same as the station 1, it finishes transmission at, at 3. And, um, and it was transmitting to station 4. Sorry. Station, station 1 finishes transmission. Station 1 receives the act for its transmission. And so basically, it waits for one unit of time and then it receives the acknowledgement. So at 5, it finishes, basically finish, the nav will expire for most of these guys. If they were ever alive before, they will know that this is going to expire at 5. And um, so at 5, the act is over. Now they have to, they have to wait for diffs and sense the medium. So they wait for 3, this is 3. They wait for 3. At 8, they all sense the medium. They send an RTS. At t is equal to 8, the disks expire. Station 2 and 3 send an RTS. And then they basically they will collide. They draw an RTS. They draw a random number between 0 and 5. Why between 0 and 5? Because TW min is 5. Right? And let's say, this is an example. The counts are 3, 1, and 2. Now, if I give you an exam, I might give you the, the number so that everybody draws the same diagram. Otherwise, everybody will draw the different random number, right? The diagrams will be different. So let's say, first station draws a number 3. 1, 2, and 3. These 3, it has to wait. The second one draws 1. So it waits for 1. And the third one, I mean, basically, these are S2, S3, S4. So S2 draws 3, S3 draws 1, and S4 draws 2. So it sets its timers to 2. All right. So who will transmit then in this case? S3. And so S3 waits for one unit of time and then it starts transmitting. It says RTS. It sends an RTS. And, um, and it says that um, it will send for however long, right? And its data happens to be, I should have pointed out, that the data that it wants to transmit is exactly 2 units of time. All right, so it will need to send the RTS, get the CTS, <coughs> send the data, and send the so it adds up all of that and puts that in the RTS. Everybody goes away. Yeah. Okay, so basically the thing is, we need the circuits to turn around, and we need basically to start sensing the medium, things like that, right? So, so it's very short time and. Um, but it is required. I mean, you cannot just do instantly because the clocks are not synchronized. I mean, clocks are synchronized, but not to the picosecond. Right, right. Every frame has an acknowledgement. And so when this station announced it's that it is going to send the data, which is not shown before that, it would have announced that I will be sending the data, which is two units of time followed. I mean, of course, the acknowledgement will follow it. If station four receives acknowledgement because this uh, station one, okay, 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 good point. See, the thing is, this is the transmitter. So I'm showing that the station four sent the acknowledgement. I mean, now this is just an assumption that it was the data was going to four, right? So the sender doesn't send the acknowledgement; the receiver sends the acknowledgement. Any other question so far? All right, so let's see what happens. So 
it won the lottery so it uh, it is it sends the it sends the it sends the data it first sends the rts and now you see it gets the cts from one which is access point and therefore um, it sends the data then sends the data and gets the acknowledgement at this point everybody waits for diffs and then they continue actually next slide they at time t is equal to 9 station 3 starts transmitting at time and says that i will be busy for 8 units of time 9 at say at time t equal to 9 17 right so 17 media becomes free okay? and then 20 the disks expire now the back of timers are restarted you see the I mean, restarted means not restarted continue then basically so you see the back of timer was there but it was stopped paused so it is unpaused okay so this is still had is it down 3 but it has finished only 2 before so it finishes 3 here this had drawn um how much is it done 2 it has drawn 2 and um so i will have to check whether you know it, it is still probably needs one more but um since they had 3 1 and 2 uh, one finish now the number 2 will come back so actually this station number 4 will start whether it will start one later or one uh, i'll double check that one okay so anyway so now this one is system so it sends an rts and gets the clear cts basically because nobody else has come in between and so it gets the cts it sends the data gets the acknowledgement and then this guy will come in and will do it unless somebody else in between comes in and then tries something out and so on and so forth because we don't know who else is trying to send right so the idea is that so key thing to remember is that the back of timers are paused so you don't redraw the number you just use the whatever you have not used previous time you continue with that timer so in that sense you get little bit fairness or priority why because if you have already waited so long now you start again fresh number then you are starting from zero so your timer is smaller because you have already waited so long okay yeah now all these things are on the same so okay for okay 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 so here we are not talking about okay so this is the this is the key thing is okay good point but that is all physical layer all right here we are talking the data access layer right so whatever carriers we are given everything combined is one okay so suppose we are using ofdm and i was given this little square right and um and so here is the thing though like I, let me just say this no basically in ofdm those um no so let's let's not worry about the physical layer right now we are just assuming that the physical layer is is given to us basically gives us a wire okay i mean gives us a medium whether it is five carriers or 10 carriers or 20 carriers it doesn't matter we just use we we just get this this thing and we give the bits to the physical layer and then later on i will explain that how the frame becomes a bits and how does it go on the wire right right now we just need to decide that at the mac layer layer 2 when do you start right once you start at this point then you have to give the packet and there are certain things you have to add to the packet and then you have to send it down and all that that is more detail which will be coming up and will be different for different um, abgn and so on and so forth but right now we are keeping it simple we are just assuming that there is this medium which is given to us and there is only one medium so we are not thinking about 15 different um, carriers and things like that 